YouTube Easygoing MC back with another Minecraft video today. We're on episode 27 of Easygoing Survival. So in the last episode, we basically built the sand duper and the AFK machine that plays sand on this. So I've completed getting rid of all that sand and I cleared out the monument with my haste 2 and efficiency 5 uh, setup I have. So it went by pretty quick, only took a little extra time. So now we're left with this flat area and two little holes in the center. So this hole we don't need actually anymore. Um, it'll be good to have a bit of an access hole down there. But we're actually going to have to clear more water. But this hole right here is the beginnings of our guardian farm. Uh, it doesn't look like much now, but it will be. But yeah, if you know, notice all of this is water under here. So we are might have to clear out some more water to head off in this direction. They make room for item elevators. But we'll deal with that when the time comes. For now, what we're going to need to do is uh, begin work on the guardian farm. So the first step is to put in the killing area. But before we do any of that, let me just show you the supplies we have for this project. Um, let me get rid of some of this weird stuff. I don't know why I have it. Um, so if I get in my ender chest, which I guess I could have done down there, we have a bunch of glass bunch of I'll just do it here a uh, bunch of glass all of these some sticks and stuff to make fence posts wood and then lava so yeah we're gonna be basically doing this design let me explain it so you have the killing area which I'll it's a little hard to explain but I'll show you when we have that build basically we have kind of like our iron farms if you know how those work um where you have the the iron, like the iron golems, like that weird, like the water platforms. We're going to be doing something like that for catching a bunch of guardians that fall, go through flowing water because they can spawn in flowing water down some fence posts. And then it hits the fence gates. And then they fall through and they get flowed into the killing area and all their drops are collected very, very fast. So that probably sounded very, very confusing. I'm sorry for saying very so many times. But yeah, it will make a lot more sense once I have the farm built. But right now I'm trying to go get some lapis lazuli because I need that to dial our glass blue, which I forgot when I headed over there, unfortunately. But yeah, um, I just want to talk to you guys real quick now for another minute or so. So most of you probably know that uh, there's been a lot of changes in the Minecraft game recently with the Better Together update for the Pocket Edition and windows 10 xbox or whatever and yeah i kind of want to know what you guys think about that here's my thoughts um if you do think this i'm sorry but honestly if you think that they're going to stop development for this version of the game java minecraft java you're pretty pretty uh short-sighted on why would they why they're not going to stop it see the thing is um even though they're not giving us the better together update and they're changing the name never said once they're stopping. It's actually said multiple times on Twitter. I've, I've seen the tweets themselves that they're not stopping development. So just, just keep that in mind. Oh, I think will probably happen personally. I don't have any proof for this, of course, as I think eventually that Java edition, which we're playing in now, will eventually be converted over to that cross-compatible edition too, which will just be so much fun being able to play with so many millions of people now even. So that, that will be pretty awesome when that happens. So, nothing's changing in Minecraft, guys. I wouldn't worry if I were you. But that's all I really wanted to say. So now I'm going to grab this lapis. I can't wait till we build a storage room in the next couple of episodes, which we're going to be getting started on shortly. I'm just going to grab... Oops. Bro, can I? All right, yeah. See, so we are starting our storage room shortly. Uh, I found a really cool design that one of the hermits built. It's pretty awesome. I can go tech if you know who that is. But yeah, uh, I'm going to stop talking now. It's probably been five minutes. So I'm going to start working on our guardian farm so we can hopefully complete that in this episode. So yeah, I'm going to head back over there. I'll be back in just one moment. As soon as I get through that. Alright guys, so I have the killing chamber in place now. Um, so as you can see, this is very similar to our iron farm and how the water is placed. Um, I have to get rid of this though because I'll place see this. Um, so yeah, basically the water all just flows to the center 4x4 four four area. We have lava. Um, 
I'll have to get down there to show you, but it's just one layer of lava. It's just a layer of lava with a couple of signs like that. So it's very simple. It's very easy. Um, so yeah. It's all going extremely well now. Um, shoot. I think now it's like the bug out at the worst time. There we go. All right, so yeah, that's killing chambers in place. Now, what now we have to do is we have to place a layer, temporary layer, of course, of dirt on top of this so we can place down a fence gate and open it on every single block in this. So the hardest part, the longest part of this is just getting all that wood to make all those fence gates because I don't think I have enough wood to make it yet. But I'm going to go and do this, guys. I'll put the fence gates in and start the design going up, and I'll touch base with you guys later. On the grand scheme of things, these farms, once you have the monument clear, which is the hardest part, these farms are relatively easy to build, believe it or not. Um, so yeah, I'll be back in just one second when I have all the fence gates in. Alright guys, we're back, and as you can see, I've placed in all of the fence gates. Um, so every single block has a fence gate now of various colors. I ran out of oak wood even after mining that up there. So yeah, I had to use some dark oak and even a little bit of spruce to do this. But... It is done now, and yeah, we're almost done with the entire farm, actually. Believe it or not, it was that easy. Um, so basically, all that's left to do now is to place a row of glass, just glass up. I mean, we don't have to use glass, but it looks really nice, in my opinion. But glass all the way up to the top of these pillars, which are a little under 20 blocks. So we have to go 18 blocks up, all around the circle with glass. So it should be pretty fun, and then, yeah, then the farm will basically be done. All we have to do after that is place another dirt platform and then place in the water so the guardians can actually spawn. And I can't wait for this farm to be done, because this is my first, believe it or not, guys, uh, I seem fairly experienced at survival, but if, if you really want to know, like, when I first started playing survival, it wasn't that long ago. So here, I'm going to tell you a bit of a... Some lore, easygoing MC, I guess you could say. I first started playing, like, Avid Survival, a little over a year ago. The first time I finally figured it out was at the end, not of this past school year, like a month ago, but like a year and a month ago. I finally figured out, I built a Blaze Farm, a very technical design by Mumbo Jumbo, and I finally realized, like, this is, this is a lot of fun. And then I began watching Mumbo Jumbo, and that, that channel, I mean, you can say he's not the best. I do admit he's not the most technical survival player ever. He's very good at Redstone, I will say that. But I have to say that that channel really helped me become more of a technical player. I've learned so much from watching those videos, which is why I've been able to do this. I mean, come on, I was able to join a technical server even if I really didn't have that much technical knowledge. I'm kind of surprised they even let me into there, but... uh. I don't know. I've learned a lot over like one year. Uh, one year ago, last summer, I had a survival world that unfortunately I deleted. Um, but that was that was my first technical world. And this world has gone leaps and bounds behind beyond that. I mean, I've done this is almost like a hermitcraft world, the equivalent of what a hermit does in one of their worlds. I mean, not on the same scale, but I'm doing pro big projects, I'm not just mining, because that's used to be what I do do in Minecraft survival is just go mining. 24-7, maybe build a house. That was pretty much all I did. I never did any big projects like this. Um, See, so this is why I really like this world. This world, I've never... Every single episode is a new experience for me, and I'm really enjoying it so far. So you should expect to see episodes um, for a very long time on this, just because it used to be that it was a pain for me to make episodes. Like, it was a time constraint, but now... I've gotten it down to science where making these videos adds very little time. Like the only time that's added on is the hour where I can't play because I'm like rendering a video like every couple of days, which is fine. I can, I can use breaks sometimes anyways to go do other things. So yeah, guys, I don't know why I talked about that, but um, yeah, it's explaining how this is my first Guardian farm ever. I'm really excited just because uh, even a few months ago, this was seen like a, 
was a monumentous task, to, even just to build the AFK thing. I thought that was going to be really hard. But, you know, I figured it out, and we already cleared the monument, and we're already almost done with our Guardian farm. So, yeah, guys, that's basically it. Uh, I'm just very happy I'm actually doing this. Uh, this has been a chatty episode for sure, uh, with the Microsoft stuff. That still makes me so mad when people say, Microsoft is killing Minecraft. And now some more history behind me as a Minecraft technical survival player, I guess. But guys, I'm going to continue placing this glass, and I'll be back in just one moment, once we have all this glass in place. Alright guys, we're back. I've placed in the walls now. So all that's left to do is place in the water, and this process should be fairly quick. All we got to do is, once again, grab our dirt. I have my trusty water. I'm going to get some ice to help me with this task, to be honest. And all we have to do is head up here. Dang it. Oh my gosh. Alright, we're going to place. you got to be kidding me. Alright, I suck at this game sometimes. But, uh... There we go. Alright, now I got it. Now I got it. Alright, now we mine this dirt away. And we're on top. Alrighty. So what we gotta do is just place a layer of dirt at this level so we can place our water down. And basically make a giant infinite water source, mine the dirt away, and we have ourselves a guardian farm. So I'm gonna finish this farm up, guys, and I'll be back in just one moment. Alright guys, we're back and a lot has happened since the last clip. You can see a bunch of glass towers being in place, but this farm is working just fine. Um, you can see guardians are spawning, but if we were to go up to the beginning is this AFK platform, which I'll explain in a second. Um, and we stay up here for like 30-ish seconds. Look at all the guardians spawning, guys. It is working really well. Um, so now I'm going to kind of explain the design choices of this form and why I went with it. So I went with this big design that basically utilized as much of this water flow as possible. And then you build up to the ocean level where guardians like can spawn. And you use flowing water as you can see they just get slowly transported down. I use packed ice not because the mobs will move faster on it. Um, but because any ink sacs that fall down in there like that will move extremely fast and into the thing. So it speeds up that process nicely. Um, so I need to find a piece of glass now. Um, but uh, And yeah, the down there, it has a perfect killing chamber. I'm right here with the double item elevator. I'm not sure how fast they're going to be drops in. So I have a double elevator ready to set up. But if you look, I afk this for an hour, and it's giving me a lot of drops. I've already used up most of the crystals to make sea lanterns, though. And yeah, we have this little area. I have a cool item elevator over here that does both dispensers. So that's nice. And yeah, I'll probably place furnaces over these hoppers. And then, yeah, so that area is all done. I just need to link it up. And But before we do that, we have to actually link up it to a storage system up here, which is what we're going to do now. So I have to sort of work on this AFK area. So this, if I can get up here. All right. All right, now we're now we're gonna do it. Sometimes it's like landing with an elytra, it's really like really hard. All right, so this right here is a spot you want to stand. And then I just have glass heading over the top of the farm until I get to the end, and then this is where the item elevator is. I kind of have it going up the center. I have a little pathway going around, and right here is gonna be the storage system. So I went through a nice design using just prismarine blocks. That's the goal for this. Is just to use sea lanterns, dark prismarine, prismarine. Prismarine bluricks and then blue glass for this entire thing. So now I'm going to place in the chest in the storage system. And yeah, I'll be back once I've done that after we go over some of the other things I done, I've done. So I also cleared all the forest and torched that island up. And I also have something pretty cool to show you guys. And that is wolves. I have wolves now. So that is really cool. I breeded them. I have three of them. And yeah, these guys will be useful for making farms with them. So yeah, I'm really happy I got those guys. 
But um, yeah, so I'm done. The farm is done. It's fully, it's working really well, as you can see. Uh, we don't even need to go. Excuse me, sorry, I kind of my voice got caught there for a second. We don't even know need to go cave lighting, guys, because the nearest cave is just directly under the farm, and I actually. Like, our AFK platform is, like, 125 blocks. There's only, like, a few blocks of that cave loaded while we're up here. So, I don't even have to go cave lighting, and the farm's fully working. So, I'm happy about that. But now, guys, I'm going to put the storage system in and kind of build this area up a little bit better. And, yeah, I'll be back in just one moment. All right, guys, we're back. And as you can see, we have a bunch of items flowing up the item elevator. And we have a nice storage system in place. So for each item, we have 12 double chests. I mean, that should be enough, honestly, to hold me off. Uh, I mean, especially for ink sacks. 12 double chests of ink sacks is more than I'll ever use, most likely. Um, but, um, yeah, so this is really working well. Um, I hooked up the storage system. And, yeah, basically it's overflowing, overflowing of items down here now because of that issue. I mean, it's just a constant. I might have to, like, actually empty this out. But, yeah, look. There's a lot of guardians down there. And it's extremely loud. All right. Hopefully it becomes un-overloaded soon. I'm not sure, though. But, um, yeah. So what we have to do now is place droppers over all those hoppers up there. And yeah, that's basically it. Uh, what I'm going to do in between this clip and the next clip is put some droppers over those hoppers to prevent lag. Because that is a lot of hoppers. And I want to keep this area as lag free as possible. And yeah, I'll be back in just one moment. All right, guys, we're back. And I'm very, very happy right now just because I have a working, very efficient guardian farm, as you can see. That I'm quite happy with. Um, it's been it's been working really well. I've I basically filled up all the I actually did fill up all the shards overnight, and it got severely backed up. And yeah, yeah, that happened. Um, see ya guys. Overall, this project has been a wonderful, wonderful time just building and experimenting with it. And yeah, the only differences between this one and the last episode is I added some carpet on top can't really see it adds a little bit of detail though and also prevents mobs from spawning without having to use sea lanterns or torches and then i also have this chest over here so i can put all my armor and stuff in there in case i do die while afk which i doubt it will be possible as there's no spawn all spaces at all up here except up there it used to be but i not anymore but yeah guys this has been a success we torched up this island built a guardian farm and built an afk area with the storage system we we did a lot of stuff in the past two episodes i mean we cleared a giant pit in the ocean first off built the sand duper all sorts of stuff yeah i'm very happy with the progress we're making next episode will be another building one though we did get a little building done in this episode um basically working on the villager cave again i'm happy that should be that i really loved working on that project so yeah other than that guys I hope you enjoyed, once again, this video. If you did, please make sure you subscribe and drop a like. It really helps. It helps the channel out and me out with making more videos. And yeah, we'll be back over here to do some more work in the future, probably in a housekeeping episode. I have a few more ideas over here. But yeah, if you did enjoy, once again, please let me know in the comments down below and what you'd like to see in the future on this. I'd, I'd love... I am very open to suggestions for the survival world. I still have hundreds of ideas, but you know, it's always good to now and again to get a really good suggestion from a viewer. But yeah, guys, I hope you have an easygoing day. And sorry for this unlengthened outro talk I've been giving you guys. Yeah, how about we end it now?